Yes, this indicator is best in identifying trend of the market. This video is special because it is hard for some trader to spot a trend in the market, but this indicator solve all these problems. In this video, I will be sharing with you the best way to use this indicator and a simple strategy using this indicator that will make you so profitable in the market. You can see some of the trade we got using this indicator. Stay to the very end of this video because I'm going to share with you in details everything you need to know using this indicator and strategy. But if this is your first time coming across this channel, please do us a favor by liking the video, subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get notified when we upload a new video. So without any further delays, let's go right into the video. First open our trading view chart. The indicator we will be discussing is called the Open Close Cross Strategy R5 by Justin Cleo. This indicator is designed to spot trend in the market. Before we talk more about the indicator, let's add it to the chart to understand more about it. This is when we navigate to the indicator search bar. There we are going to search for open close cross strategy. Select the one made by Just Uncle. These indicator is based on open and close moving average crossovers, and it can be used in different time frames and different assets, whether it's Forex, crypto, or commodities. And looking closely, you will notice that the indicator gives buy and sell signal. And also this indicator is designed to take a buy or sell trade when price cross below or above the indicator. But before we see examples on how to use this indicator to enter a trade, let's set the indicator to suit the strategy that we will be discussing. Then we go over to the indicator setting on the input setting, set the multiplier for alternate resolution to 21. Change the moving average type to whole moving average. Also change the moving average period to 21 and go over to the style setting. There uncheck the quantity and press OK. As you can see, the indicator looks so clear and give more accurate signals and also identify a long-term trend in the market. How this indicator work is that when price is on uptrend, the indicator will be green in color and it will expand moving in steps, also trading below the price. When price is on downtrend, the indicator will be red in color and it will expand, moving in steps, also will be trading above the price. And when price is ranging, the indicator will contrast and will be flat. It might be red or green in color. Note, when the indicator identifies a bullish trend, then we are going to ignore all the sell signals given by the indicator. And when the indicator identifies a bearish trend, we are going to ignore all the buy signals given by the indicator. One thing you need to bear in mind using this strategy is that when the price is on uptrend and the indicator gives us buy signals, we are not going to enter the trade immediately. We are going to wait to see price coming back to retest the indicator flat and give us a good reversal before we can enter a trade. Understanding everything on how we are going to use this indicator. Let's see example on how we can enter trade using this indicator. Let's see how to enter a buy trade. Here we are open on price of BTC USD on 15 minutes time frame. We see that the indicator is green in color indicating an uptrend. Then we check to see if the indicator has given us buy signal and on scene that it has given us a buy signal. Now we are going to wait to see the price coming to retest the indicator flat and give us a very good reversal pattern before we can enter a trade. And seeing that price has retest the flat and has given us a reversal pattern, then we can enter a trade, setting our stop loss below the flap and targeting two is to five risk reward ratio. As you can see, this trade made some profit. Understanding how to use this indicator on this strategy, let add another indicator that will help us measure the volatility in the market and also gives us more confluence. To add the indicator, we navigate to the indicator search bar. There we are going to search for squeeze momentum. Select the one created by Lazibir. This indicator is used to measure the volatility in the market. Looking at the indicator, you will see that it has green and red histogram, 
This histogram represents the volatility in the market. When the histogram is green and color getting bigger, this indicates that there is enough momentum to push the price up. And when the histogram is red in color getting bigger, this indicates that there is enough momentum to push the price down. Now looking at this indicator, you will notice that when the histogram is green in color, sometime the green will be fading out. This indicates that there is not enough momentum to push the price. This is opposite when the histogram is red. Understanding how we are going to use this indicator, let's see examples. How we can enter trade, combining the two indicator. Here we are open on price of BTC USD on 15 minutes time frame. We see that the open close cross indicator is green indicating an uptrend. Then we check to see if it has given us a buy signal. And if it has, then we wait for it to retrace the flap and on C price retracing the flap then we are going to wait for it to give us a reversal pattern. And looking closely, you will see that price has given us a very good engulfing candle. These when we check the second indicator to see if it is green in color to tell us that there is enough momentum to push the price. And on seeing that it is green, then we can actually enter a trade setting our stop loss below the flap zone and targeting two to five risk reward ratio. As you can see, we made some profit out of this trade. Let's see example on how we can enter a sell trade combining the two indicator. Now we are looking at the same BTC USD on 15 minutes time frame. We see that the indicator is red in color indicating a downtrend and seeing that it has given us a sell signal. Then we wait to see the price coming back to retest the flap and on see that it has retested and it has given us a reversal pattern. Then we check the second indicator to see if it is red in color indicating that there is enough momentum to push the price down. And if it is, then we can enter a trade setting our stop loss above the flat and target two to five risk reward ratio. As you can see, this trade played out nicely. As we have come to the end of this video, if you have any question, leave it on the comment section. We will be glad to answer them. Please remember to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell to get notified when we upload a new video.